yourself useful. And the first part of useful is hey, not careful with that horse. Okay, with your okay. Keep your hair I off. ain't complaining. You are. Complain, complain, complain. Hey, Uncle. Oh, say whatever you do, Will, please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slap. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. That's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. Shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. But no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. 
What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm trying. Try harder. Good morning, mister. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared Better all plan. the work. How can I, help? I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Get up. We showed those bastards, huh? 
Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Careful! So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, I've run into them before. Some local gang. They don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, don't you go upset and Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Arthur. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. <laughs> Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case, 
I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than I are. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. 
Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the now. water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'll just be driving, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I just shall make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, don't give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? What the hell is going on? Well, man! Oh, my God! Go shit! It caused all this trouble! You don't even know what you're doing! Get down! 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for all of us. For today, is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. 
This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Fair, yeah. equal, and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, little... why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We... We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Not the future. A land of equality. go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? I don't think this lawman disguises uh, much, Arthur. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Wow. Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bell. 
deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, it's this way, on me. Easy. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks, but some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus... It beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. You following back there? Yeah. Hear that? Someone's on the track.
Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. Just give the word. gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? Oh, there we go! We're here for your guns and your money. Give them up. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing off. There might be guns in these wagons. You got anything? Not yet. This one looks good. Search it.
search him. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Uh. Don't spare the nag. Come on. Come on. G up. Oh, boy, you ain't shot with the wind. Hey, riders, coming our way. Okay, keep a cool head. What's the black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither. You're Yankee. Get these lying bastards! Oh, oh. Yep. Yeah. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. There's no better judgment. Just... You... Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just from me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. <laughs> 